going up against the Oakland Athletics. And now, you're All right, we'll be back to get this one started Oakland after this. Athletic. So, almost ready to get underway and on the mound today, Paul Blackburn. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. No, One down. Buddy, Buddy. Muddy. Up Muddy. next for the A's. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And a foul ball. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Base hit right field. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. That is good. To me, hitter. it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. So one out with two aboard. Loriano comes up to hit. Ref Snyder, the lead runner out at second. Muddy over at first, so going away. Hit on the ground, might be two. Slings to second on the nailer. They get two. One down, runner at first. Now at the plate, Ty France. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. 
And the pitch. This to center field. Muddy pulls it down and there's two gone. Batting seven. The center field. Runner at first with two away. And now the center fielder, Buddy Muddy. One for one with a single so far. Bounced up the middle. Flips it behind his back. They get the force out number three. And welcome back to the batter now, Ty France. And that one lifted in the air center field. And he makes the catch. And a quick out number one. The batter, the center fielder. Buddy Muddy digs in now, one for two. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And takes low for ball one. And it's even up. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The other way. And there's a hit. The run comes across, and the A's score first. It's 1-0. Comes through with the RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters... They take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here's Ramon Laureano. Hey, like you can, like you can. Kicks and deals. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have strike but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game came back with another good pitch for the punch out with the bases loaded that's good pitching right there now it's the right fielder Connor Capel let her in. Let her in. Let's go. swing and a high fly ball left field Quan brings it in with a nice running grab Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Stephen Kwan. Out there to center, Muddy. Sizes this one up, makes a nice running catch. Pitch hitter coming on, Jeremy De La Rosa. Big spot for him here. Number 70, Jeremy De La Rosa. 
Well, this is definitely a rarity, a one-pitch save. You come into the ball game, so much pressure, don't know what's going to happen, and fortunately, you make the pitch, you get the out, and everyone has a big sigh of relief. A shutout in this one, three nothing. Our final score: Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Athletics, three runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. For Cleveland. It's easy, son. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Oakland Athletics and the San Diego Padres. And now, first pitch Noah, coming at you right after the break. 24, San Diego Padres. So just about set now. And today's starter, Nick Martinez. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, third. it's right on top of the it. Center Here's the center Buddy fielder, right there, Buddy, Buddy Muddy. Come on, big guy. You got this. In the air to left center, and he'll play it on a bounce. The throw to third. And the throws offline, safe at third. That is cool. The designated hitter, Ramon. One away, runners at first and third. And here is Ramon Laureano. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. That's in there. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Ref Snyder, the runner at third, muddy at first.
first one gone and now it's even up it's a good take and down on strikes he goes huge strikeout there oh that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead you have the infield back all you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground and you drive across a run it's a frustrating outcome for the hitter now I'll still have a chance but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs and a swing and a miss that's out number three well this guy competes hard we see the emotion there I love it great job of getting out of the jam No outs, runner at first. Here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Muddy makes the catch and there's one gone. Back to the top of the lineup. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Britt McIntosh. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a ball popped up. And there's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Flared it out there and got it to drop for the base hit. I think he got it off the handle just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. Throw over to Cronenworth. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping. Buddy Muddy up next for the A's. <laughs> Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, oh, one. Muddy measures six feet, two inches. Just 19 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Swing and a miss. Oh, oh, That's right. strike two. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. That's ripped. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. One gone runner at first. Loriano comes up to hit. Hey, here we go, big guy. Wait for yours. Three balls, two strikes to count. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right oh, no. there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Connor Capel up next for the A's. He's 0 for 1. Muddy off of first with two away. That one ripped right center field. Way back there. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break, but... Look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position, so they'd love another base hit right here. Hey, get a good at one. the belt and fires. Huh? Chopped out in front of the plate. Throw over to Cronenworth. Third out. So they strand a pair. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Heston Kerstad. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
the final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the big I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Spring training baseball coming your way. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Oakland Athletics. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. And today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. Zips it across. That is the inning. The batter now is Adam Engel. A one down. Out to center. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. So two on with two away. Next up for the A's, Buddy Muddy. 0 for 1 so far. Buddy Muddy. Swing and a base hit. The run scores from third. It's 2-0. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Anytime you rip now a line drive the other way, way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Runner on the goal. Struck him out looking. One run. Bottom of the six, digging in for Oakland, Buddy Muddy. The wind in the pitch. That one the other way, hauls it in, and there's one away. First and second, two down. Now it's the second baseman, Ha-Sung Kim. And that one is lifted in the air. Muddy gliding in towards the infield. Tracks it down for the out. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Daryl Hernandez. Well, a four-pitch save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking the hitters, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. And your final four. at ML.
Welcome in to Date Palm Field. Spring training action on MLB The Show. It's the first pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And towing the slab in this one, Merrill Kelly. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, you don't always know what to expect with this guy on the mound to start the game. He can be really good at times and turn in some real excellent efforts. For me, it'll tell us a lot to see how he's attacking the strike zone and pitching aggressively or not. If he's doing that from the jump, I think he'll be fine in this one. Next pitch has popped up. Walker drifts towards it. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the DH, Josh Rojas. In the air, center field. Muddy in position. And there's one away. Batting second. The center field. Three, four, five due up for the home team. And now it's Christian Walker. And he's already singled in this game. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back. Gone. A towering shot to center, and they add a run. It's 4-0. What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark. Really nice job. Out of the fourth, and now the center fielder, Buddy Muddy. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these A's just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at-bat. McCarthy makes the grab one away. And now Buddy Muddy. Lined in the left center, base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. And now the right fielder, Connor Capel, one for two. Got it by him for the K. So they strand three and leave him loaded. To the bottom of the six we go, four, five, six coming up. It's the Diamondbacks four and the A's nothing. This is Corbin Carroll. He's 0 for 1. The left fielder. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this Corbin. good defensively. 
I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. One down, base is empty. That's out to center field. Muddy moving under this one. Hauls it in, two away. Base is empty with two away. Next to hit, Paven Smith. That one off the bad part of the bat, and just a lazy fly ball. Ref Snyder flashes the leather on the run and catch. One hit in the end. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Daryl Hernandez. He gets a chance with a runner. When he never gets old, but it's also important to come out and play with some level of a fear of failure. That's what brings out the best, knowing that if I don't bring it today, we could lose. And nobody likes to lose, especially when you work this hard to play at this level. Nice win today. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. Five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Athletics, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Oakland Athletics. Athletics. And now, all right, we'll be back to get just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Shintaro Fujinami. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. This one in the air center field. Muddy under it. Squeezes it, and there are two down. The batter now will be Will Smith. The pitch. 
Center field. Muddy moving under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers down in order, and the A's will get their first opportunity. Come on, baby. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the center fielder, Buddy Muddy. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Even though Walker Bueller went to Vanderbilt, he hails from Lexington, Kentucky, and so he's a big Kentucky basketball fan. Liner, base hit. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Two outs, runner at first. Here's Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano. Hey, come on now. Two, two. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. End of one, and we're still scoreless. Runners on the corners with one gone. And now the center fielder, Buddy Muddy. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. First and third, one down. That one hit to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Yeah, that was a waste. Now back. Here's Christian Arroyo. Yeah, doubled in his Christian first A.B. Arroyo. And the righty deal. That's towards center. That one gets down for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the center fielder, Buddy Muddy. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. Muddy, just 19 years old. What a run over the last 10 as he's hitting over 400 during that span. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Up next. With the way defenders track That's down balls hitter. these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But There's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. The one two. Grounded to third. Could be two. The throw to second. How about that double play? I think there's always something pretty about one. Back now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. Well, a tight 2-1 ball game, classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. And your final score here today, 2-1.